Welcome to our tutorial on how to import your WordPress.com site to a self-hosted WordPress site. Uh, we're going to be going through the process of taking my, one of my old WordPress.com sites and putting it into um, a WordPress.org site or a self-hosted site. So I wanted to go over one of the things before we continue with the tutorial that there is an option for you to actually have WordPress do the transfer for you. So if, if you're willing to, to pay out the money, which is right now $129, they'll do a guide to transfer for you. But the caveat is that they'll only transfer to one of their recommended partners. Um, and you'll have to go into their, um, their tool and then click on the partners to see who they are. But at this point right now, it is $129 if you do, don't want to have to do the whole process of moving your WordPress.com site to your WordPress.org site. So I'm going to go ahead and export one of my WordPress.com sites, uh, the data that is, I'm going to be exporting. So I'm going to go to, I've logged into WordPress.com and I'm going to click on my dashboard. Then I'm going to scroll down the, the uh, menu here until I find tools and then I should have an option for exporting the data for the site. Now you'll notice that there are two different options here. Um, you can actually have WordPress uh, export the site for you or you, and that's going to cost you $129 or you can just export the XML file containing your posts and comments so that you can save it into your self-hosted WordPress site which is what we're trying to do so we're going to go ahead and click on this export the free one and then the next thing you're going to see is the export options for your data so here you can see that you can say export all content or you can, you can actually specify a range of content or author or specific authors, pages, and feedback. For the purposes of this demonstration, I'm just going to go ahead and export all of it. So click on Download and Export File. And save it. And that's the export process. The next part of moving your WordPress.com site to your self-hosted WordPress site is to actually import the data that you just exported from WordPress.com. So in your WordPress site, you should have a WordPress site installed already. If you go into the administrator dashboard, go down to the tools section and then click on import, you'll see a list of the import tools that they have available. The very last one is WordPress. And it's just like a plugin. You'll need to install it. And when it's finished installing, you click on activate and run the importer. And then you're going to want to choose the file that you want it that you've exported previously. So here I'm going to choose the file. It's an XML file, so it's kind of easy to find. It has the XML extension to it. You would click on open and, and that will bring the file ready for upload. You click on Upload File and Import to start the process. Now, I know there's only one author in this particular blog, but if you have multiple authors, you will be required to specify them here. And um, basically, I'm just going to leave that alone, and I'm going to hit Submit. Um, there's also an option here, by the way, to add importing your attachments, download import file attachments. But I'm not going to check that off because I know there's none on this particular block. All right. So as soon as it finishes, now you notice it says it failed to import media. And this, these are all the pictures. The import tool at this point in time doesn't appear to import the pictures. So you'll have to go into WordPress and actually bring those things back in if they're not there already. Okay. I mentioned earlier that there there was a problem with the images being imported in. So we actually have a solution to that. There is a plugin that will let you do this import for you for the images. We're going to show you how to use that plugin real quick. The plugin is called Import External Images. And here you can see the actual plugin page. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go into my plugin section for WordPress. And then I'm going to go ahead and add new import external images 
search. And here you should see it come up. Maybe I'll click on install now. I'm going to activate the plugin. And then you should see the plugin down here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on media to get to the settings for the, the new plugin we just loaded. And this will go through your post for you that you've just imported and then bring the images in for you. Now note that if you have a lot of posts as per the message here, it may take a long time. So you may want to uh, limit how you want to do this. However, um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, click on import images now. And it's just going to go through my posts. I don't have very many, so it should go pretty quickly. And here you can see that it's complete. And so after the, the image has been imported into my blog, I'm going to go ahead and check to make sure that the URL is in the correct, um, it's coming from the correct location not from my old wordpress.com blog but from my wordpress.org um, blog, the self-hosted blog. So the best way to do that here, I'm in Chrome, so I'm going to actually right click on the image, inspect the element, and since I'm inspecting the element that I selected, you can actually go directly to the path and you can see here that it's actually going from my test blog that's located on my, my server, not from the wordpress.com site, so that confirms it. So the last thing I wanted to talk about in terms of the import process of moving your WordPress.com site to a WordPress.org site or a self-hosted WordPress site is the images. Um, one more time, as we were just going over the images in terms of using the, uh, the plugin to bring the images in, there are occasions when you will see images that didn't make it over from your, from your WordPress.com site into your WordPress.org site. This may often happen when you're working with different themes within WordPress. So I'm just going to show you um, one of the things you can do real quick uh, with the WordPress.com site. So here I have my WordPress.com site and we notice that this appears, this is how the front page appears and you can see the header and, and the way the title is set and the menus here. Um, initially this graphic did not show up on, on my transfer. So in order to take care of that what I, what I had to do was, um, since I didn't know exactly where this particular image was, I just went back into my dashboard here, then go to the media library, and then look for uh, the graphic that I was using, which, which in this case is this graphic right here. And the nice thing is that they actually give you the URL for it here. So what you do is you copy that URL, open up a blank page, type in that URL or paste that URL in and then go straight to the graphic. Now you can actually right click on this image, save the image, I'm just going to save it to my desktop and then I'm going to go back to my WordPress site where you can see I actually have it here already but I'm going to go back in and show you how to easily get it in there. Dashboard and then you go to the appearance and then go to the headers, the header, I should say. And then it's going to let you select the image for the header. So in this case, what you can do is you can choose the image. And I'll pretend I'm actually uploading the file like I did before. Select files. Find the file that I had earlier, which is on here. Click on open. And then it will bring the file back in. I have it three times. But you can see that um, the image is there now to select, and then I've selected as my header. And when I look back at my blog, you can see it come up here at the top. So again, images for your imported blog from WordPress.com may require a little further work in order to get it perfect or to, in order to get it looking the way you had it previously. You may even decide to select a different theme and um, there are thousands and thousands of themes that are available for free 
in the WordPress.org site, and uh, um, you can actually look for it in your in your dashboard for WordPress as well. But that's your freedom with having a self-hosted WordPress site. That concludes my tutorial. Hope you enjoyed the instructions for importing your WordPress.com site into your WordPress.org site. You have a great day.